I said to myself, then go back, uh, back, get back to my run. Needed some water there. Man, there's this game has a lot of dialogue. I think the jurors out. There's like five fights in, in like each person's story. And um, I guess the story's not over, but like there's so much dialogue for so little fight. As I munched on an awesome meat bun uh, from Ryan, I uh, late night dessert, I, I uh, saved up at night, I rolled on, on t onto my, my bed. Oh man, this meat bun is amazing. Just heat it up in the microwave in a minute, and outside uh, gets fluffy, then juice uh, gets all over you when you bite into it. Um, it's, uh, like a meat apple, what? I take my time to savor this wonderful meat bun uh, when I look outside the window. It's still cloudy, but it's not raining. I wonder if it'll start raining before midnight. The weather forecast did say, um, I think it'll be okay. Did say it would, I, th I, I think it'll be okay. If we don't get any rain, I definitely won't be able to watch the midnight channel. This midnight channel was an urban legend that uh, probably a little last year. They say that you look into the TV during the rainstorm, your soulmate will appear on the screen. Of course, the real problem is that it's just a rumor. People would see it. The people are shown with anything romantic than the soulmates. It's actually kind of this year of such terrible murders last year. There's a lot of absolutely crazy stuff happened last year. Another world of TV, Persona Shadows, Minna Channel started all. Doesn't come on anymore. It's not because of all the things. I mean, a lot of things we did. We formed the investigation team, worked together to crack the case. That's why the Midnight Channel stopped coming in, and so I thought, if someone's uh, seen it recently, I can't ignore it. Still. Why is it back on the air? Uh, it took some time before the Midnight Channel, so it can uh, do to concentrate, turn on the TV, and kill some time. That's a great idea, even for me. <laughs> even for me. <laughs> you have that great idea, you gotta act on it immediately. I grab my cell and bring up Yusuke's number. Yusuke, he's a classmate of mine. He's uh, the friend that I work hard uh, with the investigation team. He's a clown though, <laughs> always doing stupid things. His dad owns a Juna's uh, uh, store. The Yusuke is always uh, talking to the nice old ladies while working there. Or he he uh he knows a lot of gossip. I bet he knows something about this. Oh wait, is he still working at this hour? What should I do if he doesn't pick up? Having to leave a message uh, makes me more nervous than uh, when I talk to a real life person. I wonder if I'm the only one who feels that way. Jeez, he's as rude as always. There's a part of me that really leave to hear his cheerful voice. Hadn't noticed in town now, but it seems a part of me was uh, a bit shaken when I heard about the Midnight Channel uh, starting up again. Wait, now's not the time to be relieved. I have to be gathering information. When I think uh, that to myself, I found myself talking, uh, talking lower, like I'm sharing I secrets. Know, I heard a sort of disturbing rumor. The Midnight Channel might be back again. <laughs> Midnight Channel? There's no way. Who told you that? An underclassman at our school. I tried to get more details out of her, but she took off in a huge hurry. Dude, you didn't growl at her or anything when you asked her about it, did you? Maybe I did look pretty scary now that he brought it up. I'm not sure for myself anymore. But not even Yusuke knows about Midnight Channel's reappearance. Maybe the rumor only started up recently? Well, we still need to, uh, to, uh, to pull whatever information we have. That's how investigation team no, works. I was completely normal. At least I think I was. So anyway, the girl she was with said something about a biting show. I didn't get any details, but 
She didn't seem like she was lying. And hey, the forecast says it's gonna rain tonight. Why don't we check it out? Yeah, good call. If this is for real, we can't ignore it. But if it turns out to be a hoax, you better buy me dinner. But <laughs> you owe me steak if it's true. Oh, okay, you guys owe her steaks. Steaks. Anyway. I need to call to you, uh, Yusuke. I should tell tell you uh, Yukiko about this next. Yukiko and Magi, she's another classmate of mine. She's been my best friend since we were kids. The Magi Yin's her family in and luxury of slashing, which quite the history. The thought of being a successor of family legacy seems to have weighed her down, but she appeared to have made her up, made her mind up, and now is having fun with it. Doesn't mean she doesn't complain every once in a while. Still, even if she does pick up uh, this late at night, I might be bothering her. I really need to tell her what's going on, or just send her an email. Could I ask her where or, uh, or when we you supposed to meet up tomorrow? I mean, I remember told I, I remember it. I totally do. To be honest, I checked my inbox. I couldn't find you skips an email. Looks like I erased it when I cleared out the Experiment uh, emailing list. Sometimes it's just uh, associated words Yusuke and Juness together, which I'm thinking. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. I'm actually a little shaky, which, uh, which, um, about when I'm supposed to, when I'm supposed to meet. And the more I think about it, the less sure I am on remembering it right. There, email sent. Now, who else should I told? Shouldn't uh, haven't I told yet? Oh, there's an, an, a Nato Kun. Actually, she told me beforehand that she wouldn't be in Inuba during Golden Week. I guess she wouldn't uh, free up her work schedule. She sounds so disappointed on the phone too. Which that in my mind, I searched through my contact list for her anyway. I double checked uh, which for just in case something changes her, she can uh, she can make it. Look like she she really can. After making sure, decide not to tell her about the there might be another case. I feel bad about making her worry when she can't come back here. All right. All I can do now is wait for midnight. There's still time. Past 11.30, maybe I should be able to concentrate on my studies now. There's nothing too fun to do. Like, there's a punching bag in her room, and it's right where she's supposed to study. Well, I tried, but it's still useless. I'm lying face down on my desk. I hear a faint sound hitting my window. I rush over to my window. The main channel should still up then. No, I don't think I should uh, get so hasty. It might only be just a rumor. Still, I want to hurry up and see what's going on come uh, come out or not. Consider that Yuki Kun is coming back. It'd be great if there was uh, nothing else to worry about. Once I make sure it doesn't show up, I'll pray for the rain to lift, so we'll have a great reunion under clear skies tomorrow. I take a seat in front of the TV and wait. Man, can time hurry up a bit? Waiting for the midnight channel like this. As if the investigation team has picked up right where it led up, left off. When I close my eyes, those memories come back like it, uh, like it was uh, ye all yesterday. Yuki Kun was our leader, Yusuke was his partner. Two of them fought back, back to back, always uh, perfectly in tune with each other. There's Yukiko, who can uh, be a bit off at times, but kind of warm-hearted. She's my best friend. She was uh, one of the victims in the case too, saving Yukiko was actually the first job in the, of the investigation team. Then there's Kanji. Yeah, why didn't you call Kanji? He's one uh, year younger than us, or so seeming like an odd uh, feminine uh, to do. 
she was oddly uh, delinquent. Uh, he's a man in heart. And also Rize or Rizet. It's actually a famous pop battle. One one line for Rize, huh? Nato. Finally, there's Teddy. He's always a clown. Jokes are on. It's a hard to hate him. Oh, I do. I hate him. The more I think about it, the more I realize our group really is full of strange people. I guess there's no helping the fact that we're talking, uh, that we get uh, talked about them. But now we're just used to being together. To be honest, if it hadn't been for the case, I might never have the gun uh, to know some, uh, some of them. Still, I never want to have uh, to go through anything like that again. When I saw, uh, when I swallowed the sound amazingly loud, my head or cold, and I uncontrollably uh, curled them in, uh, into fists. Please don't show up. I mean, if it doesn't, then there, uh, if it does, then there might be another victim. I just want to laugh about uh, about this tomorrow. Yusuke had uh, laughed it off, thinking that I was tricking him into uh, staying up all night for no reason. I really don't want something to someone to get hurt again. If I could skip that. A frozen spot for good 30 seconds before I can shop. After that intense burst, though, I don't even know what to say. Yes, that was the midnight channel. It was clear as day, and I was on it. There was no mis no mistake. That was me. There was some stupid catchphrase tag uh, tagged on to all of us. Before I knew it, my cell uh, in my hand and I have uh, dialed a number. Hello? What the hell was that carnivore who's the starting womanhood crap? How <laughs> do you know? This is you skip pick up. I uh, can't restrain myself and vented my anger on him. What the hell was that all about? Seriously, what the hell? Ow. Yeah, there was a kind of world, uh, discarded womanhood in front of her. She must have thought I was going to eat her or something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> must have been scarier than the, 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 the boogeyman. No, 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 no.
something that bothered me about what we just saw. Teddy was in that video, and he looked like he's hosting the whole thing. <laughs> Plus, he hasn't come home yet. He's not picking up his cell either. What? Can you call Yukiko? I'll try and contact the others. I'm gonna hang up now, but I'll call back in about 30 minutes, okay? Got it. Her up uh, call you Kiko. She seems uh, badly shaken up too, and her voice is trembling. I was about to try to console her about it, but the reason she was shaken up was a little different. It wasn't because of that. It was uh, on the midnight channel, but a phone call that she received earlier huh? tonight. You see, Chan's gone missing. Yeah, her manager called the Amagi Inn to ask if I knew anything. Could it be related to the midnight channel? Oh, so Rizzy is. Basically, uh, back to being an idol. She, she just also went missing. Okay. I don't know about that, but even though that's what I said, I was convinced otherwise. The Midnight Channel must have related to how Teddy and Rizzi have gone missing. I don't have any proof. I'm thinking about the timing. There has to be some kind of connection here. In any case, I check with Yukiko about her own meeting tomorrow before I hang up. Later though, another tr uh, trembling tight bit was added when Yuki uh, Yusuke called me again. Looks like Kanji's missing too. His mom told me that he was sleeping in the living room, but then he disappeared. Then Teddy, Rizei Chan, and Kanji come. Yeah, this might be serious. I'll see you at the food court tomorrow. I glare at the TV screen, of course, since it's turned off, nothing's on it. I don't care about any stupid uh, catchphrases now. Just worried about the friends uh, we can't get uh, get in touch with. Okay. What, what about Nato? Nato's now missing. Like he was on, she was on the promotion thing. So why why is she still here? I didn't manage to get any sleep last night. I I got to meet. Uh, I got to the meeting place much earlier than I was supposed to. This food court on Junette's rooftop where the investigation team usually meet. The light cloud of last night was blown away and the nice braids of path through the air. Now what uh, where should I wait for everyone? Just so I was can uh miss that I was the first one here. I was on the narrow back of the first you my best friend. Early. Good morning, TA. I couldn't stop thinking about things, so I wrapped up my shift at the end early and came here. Yukiko smiles. Man, she's so pretty as usual. Seeing her smiles makes me feel a little embarrassed. Yukiko's not uh, about uh, Yusuke, Yukiko's not about looks. On top of being trained, uh, trained in etiquette at the inn, she's elegant and smart. Obviously, she's uh, insanely popular among the guys. There are times when honestly uh, envious of her having things I don't. That I'm proud of her and always happy that she's my friend. Woman's mind is complicated. Yeah, I say I, I say that woman's mind. Haven't discarded my woman. Oh, damn it! Okay. <laughs> oh. Smells really good. I'm sure it'll be okay. Yukiko's really been uh, doing her best lately, after all. As Yukiko uh, uh, blushes shyly, I notice two people entering the food court from behind her. That's Yusuke and Yuko. Hey there, sorry I'm late. I ran into this guy at the elevator. Good to see you guys again. Welcome back! Guest of honor is finally here! You're looking well. Welcome back. Um, should we... What? Oh, he already knows about the Midnight Channel thing. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, I see. This has turned into a pretty thrown-together reunion, hasn't it? But I'm glad you came. Last well, Yukun takes a seat, Yusuke cleared his throat, and, um, Ginan, uh, uh, wait away and look at us. It's going where I think this is, this is going. Well, I glanced towards Yuki, uh, Yukiko. Our eyes met and we can't help but laugh. Well, it 
sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. But they guess how it's all hyped up. Uh, Yusuke smiles soon. So look at you, uh, Yukun. And Yukun is about to start clapping along with us. Yusuke uh, shrugs uh, awkwardly. Everyone laughs at this, and uh, the moon lightens considerably. Like we never changed. I feel like in this brief time, we completely feel the last uh, couple of months, or we could uh, we we've been away. So Yukun never went back to the Let's city. I mean, this is no laughing matter. The relaxed air suddenly tense, t uh, tenses with uh, Yusuke's words. Which the men channel airing, or all understand uh, what that means. You heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Nadoka, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry. She seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here, too. Natkun uh, seriously uh, seemed busy and went to talk to her. It uh, would have been real story if he had not Natokun here, since she's such an amazing detective. When the police asked for her assistance, she has to be doing something really important right now. Need some water. Be right back. <laughs> 